This video is brought to you by Panduil.com. Panduil sells thousands of electronics directly from China, including the THL 2015. Please be sure to check them out using the links in the video description. THL is making a return to the Chinese smartphone market with their new flagship, the THL 2015. The 2015 looks to strike a nice balance between design and specifications, but the question remains of whether or not you should buy it. This is my full review of the THL 2015. To start, the THL 2015 is available in two different models, one black with dark blue accents and one white with gold accents. Regardless of which color option you choose, the 2015 showcases a unique and thoughtful design. With a removable plastic back and chamfered aluminum band, there's no doubt that the THL 2015 stands out from the crowd of cheaply designed smartphones. The back cover material is sort of like matte plastic, which resists both scratches and fingerprints very well. The cover is slightly difficult to remove and does take a few presses to snap back into place. The metal band that wraps around the sides of the phone looks great. Although we usually don't see such premium build materials used on lower cost smartphones, the THL 2015 manages to deliver. Like any smartphone with aluminum construction, there are a few antenna breaks along the edges. These antenna breaks complement the overall design nicely thanks to their accent coloring. The spec sheet lists this device as being 7.5 millimeters thick and 143 grams. There is a very subtle curve on the back, which is a nice touch, but it does seem to be barely noticeable when holding the phone. My only major complaint with the design is that the meeting point between the back cover and side edge feels a bit harsh in the hand. This might be because I'm used to unibody designs, but the transition just feels awkward and takes away from the overall feel on the hand. The corners of the phone can also feel a bit harsh as the phone has a tendency to dig into your hands. However, I have to give THL a lot of credit for bringing a unique and premium looking design to the table. While its competitors are releasing phones with cloned and uninspired designs, the THL 2015 maintains its uniqueness. Taking a quick tour of the device, we'll find a glossy accented THL logo at the top of the device, just below the 13 megapixel Sony camera and fingerprint reader. The silver edge along the fingerprint reader does scratch really easily, by the way, which is a minor disappointment. There's also THL's standard Technology Happy Life tagline at the bottom, just above the device's speaker grill. Unfortunately, THL has followed the growing trend of oversized speaker grills, as the speaker itself is only about a third of the speaker grill size. This doesn't improve audio quality, unfortunately, which I'll talk about in just a minute. The device's primary and only microphone is on the bottom right edge, while the power and volume keys are on the right. Both buttons have nice tactile feedback, although the power button does take a couple of seconds to respond. This is really annoying and often left me pressing the buttons multiple times, thinking it was just unresponsive, and then becoming quickly frustrated that the device wouldn't allow me to unlock it. This could be considered as inconsiderable for some, but I found it to be a major annoyance. Finally, the headphone jack is on the top left and the micro USB port is on the top right. This is a slight departure from standard, but does make the phone easier to charge when your cable lies behind your desk. On the front of the device, you'll see an 8 megapixel Sony IMX179 front facing camera at the top and three capacitive keys at the bottom. Fortunately, the capacitive keys are illuminated. There is a notification LED next to the phone's earpiece, which flashes red for missed notifications. The 5 inch 1080p display does look nice, but I honestly don't think that it's a Super AMOLED panel, as the specifications claim. The blacks aren't as deep as they should be, and the colors aren't as punchy as a true Super AMOLED display. The display still looks good, with great viewing angles and good sunlight readability. It does seem to have a slightly cool color tint, but it isn't terribly noticeable. The highest brightness setting is also pretty good, but I wish the lowest brightness setting was lower. I did notice that the glass collects fingerprints really easily and that the surface kind of feels like a cheap screen protector. I'm not sure what type of material was used for the display, but it doesn't seem to be the same high quality glass that is pretty much standard. It's not a big deal, I guess, but it does take some time to get used to. The THL 2015 is compatible with GSM 850, 900, 1800, 1900 for 2G speeds, WCDMA 900 and 2100 for 3G speeds, and FDD LTE bands 1, 3, 7, and 20 for 4G LTE. Unfortunately, that means you'll only get 2G speeds on AT&T and T-Mobile. There just isn't any 3G support for the United States, which seems to be becoming common with Chinese smartphones. The LTE bands are also incompatible with any United States network, so you'll be stuck with 2G regardless. 
If you live outside of the United States, you can confirm carrier compatibility using the links to 3G and LTE networks below. Call quality over the AT&T US network was about average with no dropped calls. I could hear callers loud and clear while they reported the same for me. One to add money to your account. Press two to check your account balance. Press three for account information. Press four for promotion information. Press nine for customer service. The speaker on the THL 2015 does sound about average for the price, and I didn't notice any tintiness. They do sound a tad distorted at full volume, but not as bad as some recent phones that I have tested. It is unfortunately easily blocked when setting the phone on a flat surface. I think the audio is good considering the price, but incomparable to higher end smartphones. The 13 megapixel Sony IMX135 rear camera with an f2.0 aperture took some decent looking images. Some images turned out good, but others seemed to be out of focus. There's also a noticeable lack of sharpness, which is kind of disappointing since the camera sensor is capable of producing better images. It seems that this is a firmware problem where images are not being processed correctly. Hopefully THL can resolve these issues with a future software update. I also did record a sample 1080p video clip. Shipping with a nearly stock Android 4.4.4 KitKat ROM, the THL 2015 ditches the custom skins and gimmicks for a clean and simple user experience. The default launcher does have some THL produced icons, but that's about where the customization ends. If you download another launcher, like the Google Now launcher, you'll notice that the app icons are all stock. The only other customizations that THL has made include a modified volume pop-up menu, which adds media and brightness controls, and a few apps including one to recognize fingerprints. The lack of customization makes the THL 2015 software experience one of the best available on the market. When it comes to manufacturer Android customizations, less is more, and the 2015 is no exception. Unfortunately, it does seem that the THL 2015 will not receive an official Android 5.0 Lollipop update. THL doesn't have a very good record at keeping their devices up to date. I've owned 5 other THL devices in the past, and none of them have ever received operating system upgrades. On the other hand, THL did release a firmware update with bug fixes in March. Because of this, I have about 35% confidence that the THL 2015 will receive an official Lollipop update. So it probably won't happen, but there is a chance, especially considering that this is THL's latest flagship. Performance on the THL 2015 was absolutely incredible, thanks to its powerful processor. The MediaTek MT6752 Octa-Core Cortex-A53 64-bit CPU clocked at 1.7GHz. When combined with the stock Android build, this phone seems to be the fastest among the MT6752 flagships. There's also the Mali T760 GPU, so this device handles gaming very well. The benchmark scores are also pretty good, with a 41,063 in N22, an 805 single core, 3,956 multi core in Geekbench. High end games like Asphalt 8 loaded quickly and played without a hitch on high settings. The fingerprint reader on the back of this device is a unique addition. Although its placement is a bit awkward, it is nice to have for unlocking your phone and specific apps. However, it's difficult not to get the camera lens all fingerprints when swiping down. It also has about a 60% success rate, which is just okay, but still good compared to other Android smartphones. To be honest, you shouldn't buy this phone for its fingerprint reader, but instead view it as a nice addition. This device does have 16GB of internal storage, but that can be expanded up to 32GB via a microSD card. Like pretty much any modern smartphone, the THL 2015 had great GPS performance. The lock time was quick, usually within just about a few seconds, and it's also very accurate. I used Hear Maps to try out GPS navigation, and it worked just as expected. 
Although I was expecting the 2700mAh removable battery to only last through part of my day, I was pleasantly surprised by the THL 2015's battery life. During my testing, the device lasted from about 7am to about 9pm, with just under 4 hours of screen on time. That was with auto brightness turned on and standby power saving mode being enabled. I should also know that this test was performed when I had Edge or 2G coverage, so you won't reach my estimates with the same usage on 3G or LTE networks. However, the battery life did manage to beat the Jiu S3 when the same test was performed. The screen on time also came really close to that of the Meizu M1 Note, which is pretty impressive considering the 410mAh difference between the two devices. Although it will last throughout a full day of average use, you shouldn't expect it to last more than a full day, unless you're very conservative with your usage. If you purchase the THL 2015 from Panduil, you will receive THL documentation, a Panduil quick start guide, a screen protector, headphones, a micro USB cable, and a European AC adapter. The THL 2015 is the best MT6752 phone that I have tested. It has a great design, excellent software experience, and great battery life. On the downside, this phone probably won't get the Android Lollipop update, and the camera could be better. I would definitely choose this phone over the Meizu M1 Note and Jiu S3 if the software support wasn't a factor. The THL 2015 is a great phone that could really just use an update. Until that happens, however, it's difficult to recommend the THL 2015. If you're going to be using this phone for a year or even two years, it's important to have the latest software and the 2015 may not be able to deliver. If it does receive an update, however, the THL 2015 will likely become the best MT6752 phone available. If you are interested in the THL 2015, please make sure to check it out using the link in the video description to Panduil's website. As always, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or just want to discuss the THL 2015. That is going to be all for this video. Thank you for watching and please be sure to subscribe.